Today we're going to be installing this transfer switch for a generator. This is for a single circuit. And we've got our instructions. Another plug for the box. These are pretty simple, but you need to know a little bit about electricity. So if you don't know much about electricity, call an electrician. And also you need to check your city, your county, your codes and see if you need to have an inspector come in and see if you need permits before installing one of these. So there it is, pretty simple. That's for your generator, that's off and that's normal. This is just a light, this is your 15 amp reset button and here's where the generator will plug into. I'm gonna take this one screw out, I'm gonna open this up it's pre-wired to the control panel and here's our wires so what we are going to have to do is we're going to take this in to beside the mains I'm going to mark them holes them three holes and I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted up and I'm just going to put my box up here line it up and I'm going to put my screws in now I got to find out which one I want to use want to be the second one here which is my air conditioner that's the one I'm going to run it into I want to shut the mains off that shuts everything off to the house. I've got six screws on my box here, and I'm going to take them out, and then we're going to pull the box off. Okay, so it's important to mention, I have a ground bar over here and a neutral bar here. It doesn't matter where I run this ground at. I can run it on either side. I'm going to run it over here on this side because it's closer. Be very careful. These wires here are hot all the time. Even though the main breaker is off, these wires are still hot. These wires are dead. So next, I traced my wires. I found the white one that went to that bar there. And we're going to hook that up to one of the white ones here. I'm going to do that by using a wire nut. Now these wires are already stripped back. Now we're going to do that one like that. This one goes over here. The other white one will go up here. I'm just going to go right up here. I'm going to loosen one of these nuts up. Twist the braids together. See there's two wires going to this one. So there's a wire on top that's running something else on that circuit. So we're in Florida so I like to run the air so that's why I'm going on this circuit. This also runs the microwave. So since I know which wire I'm looking for, I've already traced it. I'm going to loosen this lug here. I'm going to pull the bottom wire out. I'm going to take the red wire and put in its place. Now I'm going to take the black wire from the transfer switch and I'm going to hook it on to the black wire that feeds my circuit. Now all we gotta do is hook our ground wire up like I said. I can run it over to that one or I can run it right to here which I'm just gonna run it right to this one. Now my last wire is gonna be a white wire and it's gonna go into the neutral. So now I'm gonna turn the mains on. There's the main. I'm gonna turn the power on over here to the box. We're going to come over to the box. We're going to flip it on to normal to make sure our power is working in the house with the air conditioner. And it's working. The microwave's working. Now let's plug it into the generator. We're going to shut the mains off to simulate a power outage. I'm going to shut this to off. That's very safe by the way because it has to go to off before it goes to generator. Now we're going to plug our generator in. Green light is on. And as you can see it's on. Microwave's on. Lights are off. No power up here. We plug the generator. Turn that on to normal. And I heard the air conditioner beep. All the power's back on as you can see. Air conditioner's on. Microwave's on. A couple features to point out. This switch is ETL certified and can work with electricity, gas, portable, standby generator and can also be compatible with solar system and inverter. 
This thing is also waterproof and dustproof. It's also rust resistant. This transfer switch can be used in your home, in an RV, or outside. It looks nice, it's easy to install, and it could add some value to your home as an upgrade.